Okay. So uh, I'll start off uh, the AGM today. Uh, welcome everyone, and so nice to see so many new people in uh, our AGM this time. Uh, maybe at the cost of uh, repeating for those who are uh, used to our annual event, uh, for maybe those who are new and wondering what the AGM is all about. Um, we happen, our organization happens to be a registered charity in Canada. And so there are some requirements for a registered uh, charity. One of them is to hold an annual general meeting. And so we have been doing this, uh, you know, every year. Um, and and uh, among other things, it also allows us the benefit of reflecting how the year went by and, you know, looking forward to what we can expect in the next year, etc. cetera. Uh, I'll quickly share uh, the rough uh, agenda uh, that we'll be following uh, uh, today. And um, yeah, so so essentially on the business side of things, we'll try and finish that quickly. Uh, we need, a, we, we have a few requirements that I'll go through, uh, which is basically appointing the board and, you know, electing an organization to uh, for our funds, etc. I'll, I'll explain all of that. Uh, and just an overview of the admin side of things. Uh, that's that's more on the uh, what I will uh, go through. Uh, then uh, I'll uh, request Adder, who's also our treasurer. So I'm I'm uh, also the secretary, uh, just to introduce to people who are potentially new. Um, so yeah, so then Adder will. Uh, go through an overview of the finances and that kind of more or less concludes the business side of things or what we are required to do uh, on 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 that front uh, after which uh, we could request bante uh, to uh, who's also our president uh, uh, you know our president of the board uh, these are all formal uh, terms that are requirements by by the cra so yeah uh, so he, uh, so to, we would request him to share with us his thoughts and views of the year gone by and perhaps uh, maybe views on what we could look forward to uh, as an organization going forward. And uh, perhaps other board members who would also like to share their views on, 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 on these topics. Uh, the other board members, again, to introduce for those who may, might be new, uh, our edit, uh, uh, Chris and Jeff, uh, and like I said, Adder is the treasurer and the secretary, and Bante is the president. So those are the board members. And so, with your permission, I'll jump. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. So, so after Bante uh, and the board members share their views, then we open it up to uh, the uh, to to any and everyone for their suggestions, uh, views um questions whatever would whatever we would, we would like to discuss that's broadly speaking the uh the format uh so with your permission i'll just uh, jump right into it and uh, I quickly go through uh the requirement part of it which is essentially uh, to appoint a board and to also uh appoint a organization that should for whatever reason if we close down then all our funds need to be uh we need to nominate an organization that you know that gets uh, all our funds um and so uh, for the first point uh all all the current board members um are have offered themselves for re-election uh and uh so if there's no objection to that uh, we could take that as uh, as uh, accepted. Uh, and as far as the organization that we uh, have nominated, this is again the current organization where Bante is actually residing in is 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 called Stony Creek uh, uh, Monastery. It's actually what from uh, uh, monastery. Uh, and uh, so, th so we have nominated uh, this monastery over the last many, many, many years, as far as I can remember. Uh, that you know, should something happen, uh, our funds are transferred to uh, this monastery. Uh, these are the two agenda items. I 
give a few moments if anyone has any objection to either one of them, which is re-election of all the board members and nomination of uh, said monastery for uh, transfer of funds should anything happen to Sri Manglo International. If there's any objection, um, then uh, then I'll just give a few moments uh, if anyone would like to uh, say anything uh, else, it's uh, it, it would be uh, taken as accepted. Right. Uh, so thank you for that. I'll take that as accepted. Uh, next, uh, I just wanted to, uh, from my perspective, as uh, you know, uh, uh, talk a little bit about the admin administrative side of things, and more particularly, uh, just an overview of the volunteer work in the background that goes on. Uh, more for the benefit of perhaps people who are maybe joining us new, newer than you know the older folk who who kind of know everything that happens behind the scenes. But I think uh, we have lately been getting requests from new volunteers, which is great, uh, Sadhu, and thank you for for your interest in volunteering. Uh, uh, but we've been getting a lot of questions about how we could go about volunteering and what are the areas that we could go about volunteering. People uh, think that maybe it's mostly IT related work or perhaps uh, one or two you know, projects, you know, book project or something like that here or there. So I just thought I'll spend a few moments, if I may, uh, just giving a general overview of all the kind of uh, areas that we uh, uh, work in and uh, it might benefit people who would like to volunteer to see, well, where they may be more interested um, to uh, to volunteer. Now, keep in mind, each of these areas would have uh, maybe perhaps more than one pe person, maybe a team of people uh, helping out, and these keep changing perhaps. So uh, I may not be able to take the names of everyone, but rest assured uh, uh, there there are a lot of people that that help out uh, uh, with 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 the following areas that I'm going to talk about so uh, broadly speaking the first area would be teaching which is mostly I would say Bante's work uh, uh, so we offer uh, residential courses meditation courses residential medita meditation courses we offer online meditation courses which probably has have been seen a spike in the uh, COVID times and uh, Bante has been gracious to uh, accept many more meditators in the online courses, etc. Uh, then we have uh, Dharma, Dharma talks uh, that Bante does, which is both recorded and live on YouTube. Uh, we have the study group, we have the, uh, which is on Discord. We have the party uh, class, I think, which. Uh, uh, you know, if people are interested in learning Pali, etc. Um, and uh, to a very unique uh, thing, we also, uh, or to a limited extent, uh, also have, uh, you know, people who have, uh, well, some people who have trained to be teachers under Bante's guidance. So uh, Edit is, for example, a teacher with us uh, who was trained under Bante. So those are mostly I would say under the teaching uh, things that we do. Um, then um, there are other areas like there are volunteers, I would say locally who uh, have been instrumental in, you know, helping out with the food. There's there's a lot of food dana work that uh, it's, that's both online and offline and, uh, you know, local volunteers have helped out. And then there's a food dana uh, uh, part of it, which is mostly done online, etc. Uh, so that's that's another area uh, of of volunteer work. Uh, there is a whole lot of communication and scheduling work that happens online. For example, uh, scheduling meditators, scheduling uh, or managing all our email related work. There is the social media. There is um, managing uh, YouTube channels, uh, both. Bhante's channel and 
uh, the, we have a Sri Mangalore International Channel. There is organizing uh, of uh, volunteer meetings. There is, um, you know, we send physical booklets. Um, we publish a news newsletter. And of course, there's a team that uh, helps out with the uh, YouTube live, uh, live stream uh, that you hear the Dhamma talks on, et cetera. Uh, so that's as far as mostly the communication part of things. I'm, I'm sure I'll be probably missing out some areas, but this is just to give a macro view uh, for, for people's benefits. Um, then uh, on the IT side, uh, there, are, there are a whole host of things that happen. Uh, there are many websites that have to be looked after this. Ask.sirimangalo's uh, site, there is a meditation, meditation plus site, there is managing a Discord, there is uh, the Sirimangalo website, uh, and there is maintaining the backend and database and graphics, design, all of that. Um, then we also have a lot of uh, projects, or at least some projects that we run. Uh, most of you might have heard of the book project. Uh, we do it in different languages like Spanish, uh, English. Um, then we have a, a translation of, um, uh, you know, well, uh, uh, things on uh, Spotify, um, the, uh, audio, audio, uh, 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 and on audio project, um, and uh, of course the meditation center project that we would probably be talking about a little more in detail. What's happening with that? Uh, later on in in the AGM, uh, and then we have a team that does a translation of the How to Meditate booklet. Uh, there are volunteers who do that in different different many many languages, um, and uh, yeah, so that's more or less uh, a few projects that we are doing. Uh, Austin, I'd, I'd also like to just uh, mention that we have a monthly volunteer meeting. It's the uh, first Saturdays of the month at 10:15 uh, a.m. Eastern. Uh, we we had a few months without it uh, as a number of us, particularly myself, were busy um, and preparing for our Deer Haven retreat. But we're trying to be back in the habit of uh, meeting once a month, and so. Even if you're not involved in any particular volunteer project, it's a great way to sort of come and, and hear the things that are going on and see if there are ways that you'd like to get involved. Yeah. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, we um, encourage people to participate in the uh, volunteer meetings. Um, and like I said, I mean, uh, these things, uh, you know, could be uh, changing in time sometimes and um, all of that. But but basically, I'm just giving a macro view on all of the things that uh, uh, that uh, that we are doing. And and one of the things is the um, meetings that we uh, look at. Um, yeah. And then, and then uh, there is the center management part, which which basically includes things like uh, just the general uh, upkeep and administration of the center, uh, managing our donations, managing the finances, managing paperwork, and uh, you know things like books, print, book printing, etc. So uh, the idea of 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 just uh, I mean essentially rattling off all of these things is essentially to give people a scope that there is uh, potentially um, a lot of areas that one can volunteer in and not necessarily uh, you know in in x or y area it, it could be a broad range uh, i think uh, given that now we have a lot of things going on we also would like to uh, expand on our volunteer coordinator uh, a role and maybe uh, put it put put together a team of people over there that would be interested in uh, managing all of these things uh, probably better and guiding new volunteers into areas that would be best suited for them uh, so that that uh, local ma uh, volunteer team could be in place as of now um, you know people could get in touch with me or uh, could get in touch with Ricardo uh on discord um for the 
uh, volunteer work and maybe uh, one of us could uh, could guide uh, on on what areas we were uh, looking at uh, uh, more keenly at, at the present moment. So that's just a, a broad view. Um, and um, yeah, am I missing out on something just? Uh, well, um, there are a few things that uh, we would touch upon as we go ahead. Maybe perhaps Adder might touch upon a few uh, uh, areas that uh, that we are looking at in the future about the direction of our uh, of our center and the meditation center project, which has been uh, something that we have been uh, working on for quite some time, and um, it's it's uh, it's quite amazing for someone like me to see the uh, you know fundraiser uh, that we had launched maybe a year back to have generated something like a hundred thousand um, dollars in in donation. Uh, just out of the goodness of everyone's heart, so that uh, that is quite stunning, and uh, we would definitely touch upon a little bit more on on what we plan to do about the meditation center project and where we plan to go and how things pan out um, uh, as you know um, uh, later on in the AGM. But um, that's more or less what I wanted to uh, share. I would I would just take a, a slight moment that I have the share uh, stage now to to perhaps uh, you know uh, express my gratitude to to all the volunteers. I know I've I've said uh, all these areas and they seem like very admin and very mundane, but it 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 is it is it is it it becomes very clear to me that uh, for my spiritual growth and I'm sure for people like me many many more. Uh, you know their their spiritual growth. All these mundane things that might seem very simple, but uh, without that, it would be very difficult for for us to have the sangha that we have. And because we have the sangha that we have, I know for a fact that I have benefited immensely in my spiritual growth. And I can perhaps even, as an extrapolation, say that for others. And so all the all the work that uh, all the volunteers have done in all these areas, uh, it has. Uh, it has improved my life. It has improved uh, my spiritual growth, and 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 I would like to, from the bottom of my heart, uh, thank everyone for for everything that they have done and and touching so many people and improving their lives. So, uh, thank you. And um, yeah, uh, uh, maybe we could now perhaps get on to the second part, which is the financial. Um, the financial reports of our, our our organization, and I would like to invite Adder to take the stage for, for that. Thank you, Austin, and uh, yeah, I want to echo my appreciation for uh, for all the volunteers and just the uh, the wonderfully wholesome community that we're building here. Uh, so, if you are interested in looking at our annual financial uh, records. Uh, I've posted them, these PDF files, up at the uh, top of the text channel for the annual general meeting here. Um, I'm going to uh, go over them uh, briefly in a, in a pretty cursory sense. I don't want to uh, dive into the details too much, but uh, just please know that I am available to answer any any questions, any, any specific um, curiosities you have about about our finances, about um, where the money's going, where it's coming from. We uh, we want to make sure to be good stewards of uh, of all these resources that are donated to uh, to continuing to support Bonte and to support his teaching and um, to support the uh, the teaching and, and practice of Dhamma in general. Uh, so if you'll take a look at the uh, income statement uh, for the 2021 full year, uh, you can see the details about uh, our income this past year. You know, 2021 was an unusual year for uh, pretty much everyone, uh, ourselves included. We um, 
you know, due to being in the heart of a pandemic, we had a hard time having live meditators at the center and halfway through the year ended up uh, closing down the uh, center that we had out of a, a rented house in, in Niagara. And, uh, and Bante moved to uh, Watkamai Kram in Stony Creek, where we've been uh, continuing to have a, a limited number of meditators. Uh, so financially, what this meant for us in 2021 was that this was a year for us to practice uh, generosity and to practice patience as we uh, uh, mostly were able to save the, uh, the resources that were so generously offered to us. Um, we launched our uh, fundraising project for our permanent meditation center uh, around the beginning of the year. And you can see that uh, through the year, we raised uh, $95,000. And um, if you look at the, the spending, this really is money that is uh, above and beyond what we normally bring in and what we normally uh, operate from um so so this really is a wonderful extra pool of money that we have earmarked for this project that we are uh, hanging on to for that purpose uh, additionally near the end of the year as we were planning for a group retreat in in florida we began raising funds for that uh, by the end of the year we had raised thirteen thousand dollars and um and then in this year, in 2022, raised uh, some more to, to pretty much cover the entire costs of that retreat. Um, and then our general uh, donations were at uh, $52,000. And if you look down to our total expenses, uh, they, they cover that comfortably. So uh, we were able to, you know, for the times that we were able to have meditators, we were able to house them and feed them. And of course, we have been able to continue to uh, provide our teacher, uh, the Venerable Yutadamo, with uh, the requisites that he, that he requires. Um, I would also add, uh, if you're looking at any of the details, that we have um, a large miscellaneous expense this year. Uh, most of that comes from a donation that we made to Wat Kamai Kram uh, that, that Bhante is, is staying at. So. You know, they have uh, invited him and he is he is staying there for free. Uh, we gave a seven thousand dollar donation, which included um, which was based on our estimate of a, a few months rent plus a certain portion that was earmarked specifically as a as a gift for uh, robes for the monks of the uh, of the monastery there. Um, And yeah, uh, so again, feel free to, to peruse any of the other expenses. Uh, our bank and service charges were at $3,000. That is that's more than usual. Uh, that's in large part because we were running these uh, GoFundMe campaigns, uh, particularly for the, uh, the center project. So we actually really did work out, um, you know, we have a good fee rate there as a, as a, registered charity we have sort of their lowest tier of fees um but we do pay a non-trivial amount of fees for using that platform uh as well as uh other bank charges and, and paypal charges for our normal operations um otherwise most of our costs come from from maintaining a place for bante and meditators to stay and and making sure that that they're fed as well as maintaining our various uh, tech services to be able to have this community online. And uh, as you can see, if you uh, look at our balance sheet, the other document, uh, our total uh, assets now are at about $170,000. Again, this is all uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, we do receive funds in, in US dollars and occasionally other currencies as well. Um, but these are all reported in Canadian dollars. And, uh, and there's not much to say here, just that we, uh, we have, you know, we have a, a comfortable amount of money and we have a, a security net to, to be able to continue to, uh, to 
bring bring the teachings of Dhamma to our community and to um, to move forward with with projects and uh, and feel secure in in being able to provide for our monastic and and take care of the community as a whole. Um, there were, uh, you know, with the center project, we raised, as mentioned, about $100,000. And there were a couple times last year where we were actively, you know, looking at properties and looking at places to move to uh, and eyeing uh, places that looked like particularly good deals to see if the funds we raised over the course of last year uh, we could utilize to, to establish a new place. Uh, we found that the the funds that we have so far, uh, you know, even this this wonderful amount of of um, donated resources was was not enough uh, to make to make a move to say get a mortgage or, or purchase a property um, that that suited our needs. So our our center project funds will remain earmarked uh, for the time being as we continue to. Save those and continue to grow that fund. Um, that that project is ongoing, and we may uh, reinitiate our fundraiser more actively. This year, we uh, have been offered uh, by by Jeff, um, uh, you know, one of our board members and and generous supporters, to to stay at a property that that he is currently renovating. Uh, so we intend to move there by July this year and be in a position to to have uh, an active center with with a sort of a full load of meditators, uh, at least five or so. Um, and and we're being offered the opportunity to stay at this place uh, rent free. So we will be making that move this year and uh, and our center fund will will remain set aside and will continue to save and grow that that fund so that we can ultimately um, make a purchase and and have have the resources to to own our own property and um, and build that center as as our um, supporters have so generously offered the resources to do so and uh, for what it's worth you know, when uh, as a as a registered charity, when we receive earmarked donations, we you know we are legally obligated to to hang on to those donations for that specific purpose, or otherwise return them to our donors. Uh, so, thankfully, we found that that all of these donations for for the center project, as well as for our retreat, um, have come above and beyond our normal operational costs, and so we're we're blessed with the opportunity to continue to offer the services that we do, offer the opportunity for people to learn online and to meditate in person while we continue to uh, save and, and grow this bounty for the future. Okay, and I think that's, uh, that's all I have to say as a, as a treasurer. And again, if anyone has any specific questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Adder, for that overview. Um, so that kind of completes uh, on the business side of things, whatever we wanted to share. I would like to invite Bhante Yutudamo uh, to, as president and as our teacher also, maybe, uh, to perhaps share his uh, views or thoughts on um, uh, or his take on how the year has gone by and um, uh, how he sees uh, things going forward or in general anything that he would like to perhaps share with us. Thank you, Ander and Justin. Thank you everyone for coming. Uh, meeting regularly is an important part of Buddhist practice. Meeting and conducting business in harmony. So this is a regular meeting of the community once a year. Normally on Saturdays we have our meeting where we study the Dhamma and talk about the Dhamma. 
we've interrupted it now with another sort of regular meeting. So I appreciate that so many people have taken their time to come and meet together. So um, in some ways, there's not a lot to say about this year because of our lack of ability to host meditators, but a few things did happen. Um, there was a trip to America. I traveled to Los Angeles and Florida. And a part of that was exploring options for the future. And so while we weren't able to be fully functional this year, um, we do have opportunities for the future. So going to Los Angeles, I spent 15 days with some old students and some new students, and it uh, opened up potential for future activities there. Uh, I lived in Los Angeles about um, 15 years ago. And there were so many good things, uh, mostly to do with the Thai community, but there was a lot of activity. Many people were able to f complete courses, and there was growth and harmony of the community. And I was reminded of that going back there, for because even just over 15 days, there was so much reconnecting and making new connections with people, and uh, a lot of interest in this uh, practice and the invitations to come back and even to stay there so we've talked about this as a board and and it is a potential for the future that i might move to los angeles it's it's some something that we're keeping open uh, the other trip was to florida and we did the 15-day course in the forest which was really well received and appreciated by participants. And just to reiterate what Adder already mentioned, um, to make clear, it, it was offered, we were able to offer that course completely free, which is, I think, one of the impressive things that we've managed to accomplish. Uh, in spite of, of some uh, warnings or, or cautions that we wouldn't be able to do it, that, that you can't offer the Dhamma for free because, well, for whatever reason, and I think we've quite incredibly proven that that's not true. And our ability to offer these courses for free and obviously supported by uh, people's donations, but without any remuneration or, or, or any personal gain, you know. I mean, no one, none of us are doing this really for personal gain. And our ability to do that and be free from that, uh, that potent problematic aspect of life where uh, money comes into it. So there's no greed for um, personal gain or co coercion. And of course, people to donate. Uh, and also no worry or stress from the organization. Do we have enough money and how can we make more money and so on? I mean, all this talk about money should be um, should be tempered or, 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 or um, we need an additional note to say that none of us are concerned with making ends meet or, or fundraising or getting money from people. And if and when we don't have enough funds to continue, we'll just stop. And we've, we've always, always held to that principle. And I think it's uh, a testament to uh, the greatness of the Dhamma and people's uh, appreciation of the true value of it, that it does have true and authentic value that has allowed us to, to keep going. It's just kept this going not because people are uh, want it, but because we as an organization want it to go continue, but because there are people interested and who want us to keep doing it. Um, but uh, so the, the Florida course was a great success, uh, though I personally expressed the opinion that 
I'm not so keen on doing such courses. Now, um, I, w I, I would be interested, I've talked to Edit about doing courses like in Europe. It makes more sense to me because it's hard, quite hard for people in some areas to come all the way to Canada. But um, I do think that in the future, if we do have a stable and, and um, sizable center where we can receive five, six meditators at once that, um, well, we'll talk about it, but I'm not so keen on, on making the effort to organize um, courses, even though it seems to be preferred in, by, by meditators. There's an idea of um, coming together, uh, prearranged, um, scheduled, to do a, um, a a course like that that seems to appeal. I, I prefer it the other way, though. I a kind of understanding that it's preferred. People prefer to have scheduled courses that start and stop with everyone at the same time. It actually feels, from my perspective, more valuable for people to come on their own, to not be constrained by the time of other, uh, the same time as others, so to be able to go at their own pace, um, to not be doing it with others, so that they're not as connected to the other meditators in terms of being distracted or um, get caught up in in conversation, chatting, and that sort of thing. Um, but for the uh, time that we didn't have such a center, it, it made a lot of sense to do that course and, and possibly to do such courses once a year or on a, on an on a occasional basis. But but more uh, interestingly, to, to do such courses or to, to organize such courses in more distant areas like Europe or Asia or or Australia and that sort of thing. And of course, we've continued with online Dhamma, our Saturday uh, study course in the morning has continued, and that I think is a great thing. Uh, people, we're seeing a, a large attendance, uh, we're seeing lively conversation, and a real um, opportunity for discussion and um, expansion of people's theoretical and, and practical understanding of Buddhism. Then we have the 3 p.m. Saturday broadcast, which I think is also well received, quite useful. It's, um, I suppose, a little bit repetitive, and I'm not sure that... Um, how many people are interested in coming back every week, but it's quite helpful for newcomers, people who are not so familiar with our tradition and our practice, ability to, to get a sense of how to practice a lot of new newcomer questions by people who don't quite understand how to practice yet. I haven't done many other online talks kind of with the idea that if and when we have a more stable situation we'll be able to set up a, sort of a stage like a, a place to set up a video camera and have someone who can do the recording because they really do require someone behind the camera to record that but i, I am thinking about the Dhammapada videos to continue and eventually finish that series and possibly to start a new series uh, if and when we get settled and, and to maybe do daily talks, short talks, if we have a number of meditators at our center. So the Kitchener move is um, something that I think we're all looking forward to with uh, uh, great appreciation and the idea that it will allow us to get back to our ordinary work. Uh, Jeff has come inspired and, and um, 
has already done great and and uh, appreciated work in securing a property for the express purpose really of starting a center and then allowing us to basically take it over and run it uh, run the place as uh, the organization and of course with him as well to uh, have many rooms for meditators and with the potential of building new spaces new uh, kutis or, or huts for individual meditators and building a, a residence for me that is in a separate building so i might have my own area that is not connected to the a res lay residence which is a monastic uh, requirement and so much appreciated uh, so i think from the sounds of it by june or july i'm pushing them hopefully may june we'll be able to uh, let everyone know that yes we are starting to do regular scheduled courses and your people are welcome then to come and continue with the practice so again, thank you everyone for coming and of course for your support and allowing us to continue doing this. Uh, may we continue to spread and share Buddhism and the Buddhist teaching with the world. Sadhu. Sadhu Pante. Thank you so much. Yeah. So thank you. Uh, and um on behalf of everyone i also would like to thank you bante for everything that you do it's uh well words don't do justice but for now maybe i can only say thank you um uh, i would also like to invite if if anyone from the board would like to share any uh thoughts uh that we might have not uh shared yet or perhaps missed out on or anything in general that uh, that you'd like to touch upon? But if not, I'd like to. Uh, well, I, yeah, sure, yeah. Sorry, 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 go ahead. Well, I'd like to um, say a few things regarding the opportunity to um, teach this uh, style of meditation practice with, um, with everybody. Uh, you know, as uh, during the Deer Haven retreat, I was. I was given the opportunity to, Adder and I were given the opportunity to take the teacher, take the instructor course. Um, and although Bante may feel like doing another remote, uh, a, a group retreat, a remote group retreat somewhere may be uh, more work than it's uh, worth, um, I, I, you know, I feel like it was a great opportunity for um, someone to take, like myself and Adder, to take an instructor course with. Um, with meditators um, constantly, you know, being able to um, learn from and observe their experience through throughout the retreat was, I think, just so um, <laughs> beneficial and um, rewarding and eye-opening and insightful in so many ways. Uh, so I'd like to propose, I, I love the idea of uh, going to maybe, you know, Asia or um, Europe for a for a re for a remote retreat to make it sort of you know, quote unquote worth your while, um, but uh, I think those are great opportunities for anyone who wants to maybe um, expand their horizons and maybe when they're feeling more confident in their own practice that uh, they might want to become an instructor. Uh, as we as I look at um, sort of. Uh, uh, I look forward towards the future and uh, looking at planning the future and what is possible, what can we make possible uh, with, within our organization. I see um, uh, a huge opportunity for growth with, um, with you know, having, having, a, having a center of a, a base where we can operate out of um, it, in a very cost-effective manner and be able to save enough money to really grow our community and maybe perhaps have, you know, 
instructors from all over the world where we can do remote retreats. I, I just feel like it's just all so wonderful, all, all the things that are happening and, and the things that are being um, uh, created by this community. And I'm just so uh, honored and grateful to be a part of this, um, this organization and a part of the community. I am so um I'm honored to sometimes receive messages from from just complete strangers and you know uh, from from within the community and uh, asking me questions and and um, getting some more insight and um, getting to know me and getting to know them and and becoming friends in a sense. I think all that is very wholesome. So I'm, I'm grateful for, the, for this community and and I'm also grateful for the opportunity to provide for the community and um, for the sangha and and to um, venerable Yutadamo. So. Um, that's all that I would like to say. So thank you. Um, about possibilities in Europe, uh, actually our member, long-term long member Mila was planning to establish a small um, meditation center in Ukraine. Um, and uh, I, I was going gonna help, and of course we we will um, we would want to invite venerable there. Um, but the situation now is different, so um, I don't know. Maybe we we'll, we will change our plans and uh, select a different location for this. But definitely, this is this is. Um, a side plan for uh, Siri Mangala as well. I think even if others would like to comment or suggest or uh, say anything, um, there is an easy way to uh, add yourself or not add yourself, uh, become a speaker. I think there is this raise hand button. If you click on it, uh, one of us could uh, uh, put you as the speaker and then you know you could share up share any thoughts that anyone would like to share with all of us. I'll take the moment to echo my own gratitude to this community, to the volunteers I work with, to my fellow directors, and to our teacher, Venerable Yutadamo. Uh, this community has been really important to me. This is my fourth AGM, I think. And uh, I've been really grateful to Siri Mangalo for all that they've offered and Grateful to be able to participate in offering the same to others. Well, if there's no further questions, um, we could end the AGM and we'll perhaps see each other again in the Mustadi group and the volunteer meetings. Uh, welcome to join in those where we can have further updates on uh, more happenings uh, about the organization. All right, so thank you everyone. Uh, thank you for coming and um, see you, see you on Discord. Thank you. Sadhu. Sadhu. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.